Gary Salo, Golden Motor Canada. So this is my next project here. This is what's called a Babo Big. This is a commonly used vehicle for uh, taking infants. Right now this is currently being used for taking four toddlers inside there and even one on the back occasionally. Five infants or toddlers to school. It's like a daycare device or uh, some people use them for grocery getting or what have you. Very common vehicle used in England. Actually overseas more in the Netherlands I guess that's where it's from. And what this has on the back is a Nexus 7 speed which is going to be a bit of a challenge changing this because the gears are built into the hub and what I'm gonna to have to do is probably extend the chain and put a derailleur on here or maybe I'll just run it as a single speed we'll see but this is the next challenge up here we already have good brakes uh, drum brakes I believe so we'll put uh, a brake on the back regen and uh, should work out well so this is our next project a Babo big there's several different models of these but this is the big one So now I have the bike in the backyard. The back wheel is up in the air. I had to chalk the front wheels and push it up against the picnic table to get it off the ground. Normally I would flip a bike over, but this is a huge bike and that's not possible. But the wheel is not touching anything, so I'm just going to start taking it apart. You know, removing the nuts and whatever screws and washers and everything need to be taken off. So here we're starting with the nuts. You know, they come off first. You loosen them with a crescent wrench and then I'm just taking it off with my finger. I also took uh, pictures along the way in case I needed to put things back. I just wanted to get everything back in the right order of what comes off of each side. Also notice that there is an axle tensioner here. If you tighten that bolt up it pulls the axle back which would tension the axle against the chain to tighten it up. But we're just getting rid of all of that. We don't need any of it. Uh, this arm here on this side is for the brake. It goes up the arm and clamps on there uh, for a coaster brake in the back end. But since we're removing the wheel completely, we don't need that anymore either. I just took it apart and removed the clamp. Here I'm removing the brake cable from the right side along with the throttle. All that we took off. And I'm just loosening the screws now to get the fender open because I need a large opening to pull it straight back off the bike. And uh, it came off really easy. I was surprised at how quickly it could be done. There are a lot of screws and nuts, I have to admit, to take it off. But now it's off and it's still hooked to the bike. There's just a cable that runs around all the way up to the front for the brake and for the gear shifter. I just had to remove all that next, you know, and it all comes off quite simple. So now I'm dry fitting in the Magic Pi 5. It went in like nothing, slid right in. Perfect fit. You can see the tabbed washers will drop right into where the opening is. So that would keep the axle from spinning. But I prefer to use torque arms just to keep it a, a much stronger grip on the axle. You can see that last shot there was plenty of room for the freewheel there as well. So even though it fits well, oh this is something I noticed is the lock that goes around the rim. It was rubbing right on the rim. So there's actually a couple screws that hold that on and we just undid that and slid it down and put it back on. Now there's plenty of room for the lock to work properly. A six-speed freewheel fits perfectly on a Magic Pi 5, a Shimano. So that's the one we used to put it on. And we also put on torque arms. You know, I'm not going into great deal as to detail as to how all this went together because I have a lot of other videos that show this in detail how to do these things. But this was so simple. I went right through this in no time. Here you can see the wheel is back is on, the seat is back on, and uh, the it looks really good on there. There's torque arms to hold it in place, very securely mounted. Also put a dolphin battery on the back of the box, and it's ready to go. It was very simple. Okay, so here the job is done. I didn't take a lot of pictures during the building of this because it went so easy. We ended up putting a Magic Pi 5 on the back with torque arms. 
Uh, we didn't put a derailleur on it. We just have a six speed on here and pick the gear that was appropriate and it works fine. It doesn't appear we have any interest in turning it back into a seven speed or a six speed or anything. We're just going to run it as one speed. It seems to work great like that. Well, we mounted a dolphin battery pack right on the box here and this you can just unlock with the key lock and you can take it right off for charging. All of the front of the bike still remains the same. Drum brakes at the front and what have you. Uh, one of the things I noticed was the uh, bike lock that is here. It has these holes in the side for adjustment and the bar was not fitting around properly. To lock it in place, it wouldn't go around so we just uh, adjusted this and lowered this down more so it fits on there perfectly. But overall, this was a very simple build. I'm quite surprised. Uh, we took all the Nexus parts off and we're just running it as a single speed instead of the original seven speed that it was. And up here we have a brake lever for regen braking, which operates the brake in the back. And the handlebars operate the brakes on the front. And it stops really well, has plenty of power. What we did was we set the settings to the lowest speed it would go. So it goes about uh, 10 to 12 miles an hour, somewhere in that range, maximum speed. And we also set the up ramp speed very slow. So it takes off slowly, but we did leave the power with enough so that it could pull itself up a hill anytime it needs to. And uh, it works really good. So there it is, a Bobo Big with the Magic Pi 5. Gary Salo, Gold Motor Canada. Thanks for watching.